Welcome back. The news resonated around Spokane on Monday. Potential first team All-American Philip Petrushev was not returning to Gonzaga and instead was signing a professional deal with a team in Serbia. We sat down with Philip today to discuss more about his decision. It was on my mind like I knew it was possibly my last game so uh, I just tried to you know take advantage of it and uh, enjoy it as much as I could. Senior night indeed ended up being Philip Petrushev's final game in the kennel. Gonzaga's staff found out he wasn't returning like everyone else via a tweet. They understand that there's it wasn't my fault that they had to find the way they, they did uh, on Twitter or whatever because uh, the news leaked out and there was nothing I could do about that. I was supposed to tell them before I announced it, but unfortunately the news leaked out and uh, but it's all love at the end of the day and no hard feelings and uh, I appreciate them uh, for everything they've done for me. Petrushev told Krem that the process for signing in Serbia went pretty fast, but that he talked to the team a couple of times before making the official decision. There were multiple reasons why the forward decided to play professionally in Serbia, including coronavirus concerns with college basketball and being able to play with pros. The opportunity also will give him a chance to see action before the NBA draft. I will get four official games in this league and uh, a lot of scrimmages before uh, before the draft, so that's that's a huge chance to get in front of the people without any official draft process. Getting to play in his home country also definitely factored in to Philip's decision. I'm definitely excited to play uh, in front of my home country. It's been six years until I played here the last, so a lot of people didn't get a chance to see me much uh, playing outside of Serbia, so I'm, I'm just really excited to get to show my people uh, why I can go on the court. Phillips certainly shown people he can go on the court in Spokane. He passed along one final message for the fans. I just want to thank them. I want to thank the, the kennel, the student section, the, all the GU fans and the uh, Zags Nation and uh, the whole Spokane community for welcoming me and uh, supporting me and the team for these past two years. It's been, um, it's been unforgettable two years and uh, I just want to thank them for all their support and uh, I just want to say I'll always be one of them, I'll always be a Zag and uh, I'm just thankful for all.